Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. I read a fucking book. I can talk about that shit too, let's go. My focus has been absolute shit. It's been absolute shit, so we're just gonna roll with it while it lasts, okay? It has legit been a while since prose has like hit that spot for me, you know? Not that I haven't enjoyed anything in a while, but like that spot, like just, it's right there. Um, and this one definitely did, it's so good though. Okay, listen, we're going to discuss how to recognize a demon has become your friend by Linda Addison. Synopsis is who doesn't need to know how to recognize a demon has become your friend. From the first African-American to receive the HWA Bram Stoker Award, this collection of both horror and science fiction, short stories, and poetry reveals demons in the most likely people, like a jealous ghost across the street, or in unlikely places, like the dimension-shifting dreams of an American Indian. Dude, that one fucked with me. Recognition is the first step. <laughs> What you do with your friends slash demons after that is up to you. I don't know. All I know is this came out in 2011 and this past year is the first, the fuck is the first time I've heard about it. The fuck is that horse shit? We, we got it. Like what, what? So listen, it's really like, it's like 107 pages altogether. So if you're new here, I'm really finicky about spoilers. I totally feel like this is like me shooting myself in the foot by doing these videos because I'm just going to vibe check you till the cows come home, okay? They're home. Like, ugh, it's so good though. Linda writes very good prose. You know how like some people just put words together and, you know, it just, you know, like... Let me read to you my favorite poem from this collection. It is called Sharp, Shiny, Hurting Things. Don't sit with your back to the door. Change seats three times on a public bus. Sleep with the windows closed. These rules will keep them away from daytime dreams and nighttime desires. Look at me twice, but no more. Don't touch your ears or remove your gloves. These rules will keep me away from shadow doorways and multiplexed garages. Or do as you wish. I'll bring my toys and we can make the stars cry. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <sighs> so good though. Like, come on. Doesn't have anything on the spine though, and I have a problem with this. Like, what if someone, like, the bookstore goes to put on, like, ah. So it's been on display pretty much the whole time that I've had it, because that's a really fucking cool cover. Highly recommend. I don't know. It's like, you know, like, and yet, like, it's totally different shit going on. Like, Linda takes you to so many different angles, and it's, it's some good shit. Let's see what notes I have and if I can understand them. Linda really knows how to hook from the get go really does. Mm. There's the short dust to dust that just like, <sighs> oh my goodness. There's also a short about aliens. This one might be my favorite actually. I was, when I was preparing for this, I was like, what's my favorite though? Do I not have a favorite? What is it? What am I, besides, you know, the poem. Um, I think it's a particular about a neighborhood that I don't know, aliens. I don't I don't know. I don't know. There's a ship. 
Everybody knew those twin girls raised themselves because their mother was touched in the head and they did have a different way of being. So in the end, folks from the neighborhood weren't surprised when the alien landed on their roof. How do we get, what? We weren't surprised? What do you, what do you mean? Weren't, what the fuck neighborhood is this? You know, like shit like that, where you're just like, okay, okay. Well, that's a different angle. Five check, like, and uh, when you look up Linda's uh, work on like Goodreads and stuff, there's a lot of anthologies, a lot of collections, homework, like there's, okay, more shit to add to the list. We're going to read more eventually. It's going to happen. <laughs> I was going to do a little bit of like updating and shit, but nah, it's fine. I think like paying any kind of attention to socials and stuff, like it seems like we're all just, you know, so you know, just, you know, we're definitely not alone in this. Oh, kindred souls. So until next time and beyond, please take care. I'm trying as well.